So many times we approach our online launches, whether it is a new service, a website, a course, a membership, we say, all right, I'm launching. This is my launch. But there are actually five different stages to your launch. Whether you're acknowledging them or not, there are. There's five different parts of the potential students or your customer's journey and their experience. And when you miss those five pieces and when you don't account for them with your messaging and your strategy, you miss some really powerful opportunities for connection and conversion. So today I'm gonna teach you the five different sections and phases of your live launch so that you can strategically plan for the message that you are enforcing and the connections that you are making at every step of the way and ultimately increase conversions and increase student success by having more of the right person join your program. I'm Brittany McBean, launch strategist and copywriter and I write launches all day, every day around here. We are always in launch mode, which means I get to keep my finger on the pulse and get a really good feel for what is working right now, what people are connecting with, and also just getting to see this many launches back to back, you really get to break down the nuance. And so we have discovered that there really are five core phases to your launch. And not only that, it's not just about different pieces of copy or different internal strategies, it is five phases of a potential student or a reader's journey. They are going through a journey throughout your launch, leading up to your launch, all the way through to cart close. They're going through their journey. And if you only message to one part of that journey or keep repeating the same message over and over, you are really going to miss out on the opportunity to connect with them at every step of the way. So the five phases of your launch are the warm up phase. Some people call this the pre-launch. I'll differentiate in a minute. The pre-launch phase, the kickoff or your launch mechanism, the cart open and the cart close. So let's break down what each of those mean. So first off your warm up phase, this could be anywhere from three weeks before your cart opens all the way through up to 12 weeks before. Typically six to eight feels about a good middle ground, but you're gonna do whatever works for you and your business. But this is the phase where you are putting out content, so free content. We're not looking for conversion here, we're looking for connection and engagement. So YouTube videos, podcasts, emails, Instagram posts, whatever it is that you're doing, you're putting out content that is hyper related to your program topic. So if you're launching a course or a membership, whatever that thing is, you are putting out content that is hyper related to that offer. And not just related to the offer, you're saying, who is the person who is perfect for this offer? Back them up. Where are they before they're ready to buy? Where are they before they understand the need for your offer, before they see it as a solution for them? What questions do they have? What awarenesses do they need? Do they need to be made aware of something? Is there something that they don't fully understand? What beliefs do they need shifted and reframed so that they understand what they need to know, understand and believe in order to decide whether your offer is right for them? What hesitations or objections do they have right now? How can you hold space for those, validate those, provide them with solutions to those hesitations. So in the warm-up phase, you are really addressing where that student is 12 weeks, six weeks, eight weeks before they would be ready to buy your offer. Not only that, but you are really calling out the right student for your offer for your course or whatever it is that you are selling at scale in your launch. What I mean by that is it's likely that you have multiple people, multiple different groups of people in your audience, on your email list, following your Instagram, your YouTube podcast listeners. There are probably going to be multiple segments of people. Maybe it's people at different niches or different industries. Maybe it's just people at different stages of their journey. When you put out this hyper related warm up content, you are calling forward that perfect student. You're allowing them to kind of like perk their ears up and tune their antenna to your frequency. And the other people who want to follow along can, but they know that, all right, this maybe isn't necessarily for me, right? And more importantly than that, the person who you are speaking to knows that you are speaking directly to them. They are tuned in, dialed in, engaged, they are paying attention and they are focused on what you have to say. So we're really calling out that section of your audience. So that brings me to the next one, which is the pre-launch. A lot of times people refer to that warm-up phase as the pre-launch or the pre-launch runway. You totally can call it that. I just want to differentiate between the warm-up phase and the invite or the pre-launch phase. So the invite phase, 
the pre-launch phase is where you are now specifically in a way where we have a call to action for conversion, specifically calling out the right student for your offer and inviting them to join you in an educational or kickoff experience. So we have our launch mechanism and our kickoff next. This is where we invite them. So that could be a webinar, a video series, um, a live video, a challenge, whatever it is, a training, whatever it is that you have that's going to kind of kick off your launch, you're now inviting them in. Now we are explicitly calling them out. We're not just like speaking to them. We're saying, click this button, sign up for this thing. So from their end, we are inviting them, calling them in, differentiating them, bringing them in, getting them signed up for this opportunity, and basically getting their consent to teach them this information, deliver this information. But also from a back end strategic perspective, you are segmenting out your leads list. These are the people that you're going to tag as your leads list for this launch. So in the invite, phase or segmenting plain and simple in the third phase we have your launch mechanism or your kickoff so this is again that webinar that challenge that video series whatever it is that is kicking off your launch this is something that is obviously very related to your program it is walking somebody through the journey before they are ready to buy this is a condensed place for all of your sales arguments your sales arguments will live on the sales page and in your launch mechanism. This is where we take them through a shortened journey of before, where they are now, where they're experiencing their problem, holding space for objections, answering questions, creating awarenesses, reframing beliefs, teaching them something that they need to know, understand, and believe in order to be confidently ready to buy your offer, and then offering the program, the pitch at the end of it, when you offer them an opportunity to join you and learn what they need to learn to experience the outcome and the transformation that they need. So that is the kickoff or the launch mechanism. Then we go into the cart open sequence. This is typically where you are sending emails, plain and simple. You've kicked off. Now you are sending them the emails that they need to continue to reiterate and back up what you put forward in the webinar, the challenge and the kickoff. And on the sales page, you are reminding them where they are now. You're reminding them where they want to be, showing them that you are the solution to help them get there. The reason we differentiate the cart open phase from the cart close phase is because people make decisions differently at different places in their journey. In general, people make decisions emotionally and then back them up logically. Every person goes through that journey. Now, some people, there's half of the people who are going to be following your launch who are going to make that emotional gut decision instantly. They're gonna know the minute that cart opens or after the second or third day of emails that this is right for them, their gut's gonna tell them they're gonna make a strong, decisive decision and jump in. They're gonna be your first few students in that launch. So they need to see those emotional things, future pacing, that outcome, hitting them in the feels, not like twisting a knife, not causing shame, not causing negative emotions, but appealing to their emotional side, the things that they want, where they are now, why that isn't making them happy, right? Then we move on to the more logical phase of the journey. So in the cart open phase, you're gonna be sending emails, you're probably gonna be having some conversations with people, answering DMs, answering FAQs in your support inbox, just holding space for the conversations people need to have. You're engaging, but you are laying out those more emotional arguments and feelings. Now, the cart close, that is where we are going to wrap things up with logic. People who are still hanging on, who haven't made the decision yet, they don't have the information that they need to make the decision yet. They have not confidently decided, yes, this is for me, or no, this is not for me. So they're still hanging on your launch in the last 48 hours. So the cart open is like right after your kickoff, all the way up until like 48 to 72 hours before the cart closes. The cart close is the last 48 to 72 hours. We'll say 48, it depends on how long your cart is open. But this is where we get pretty serious. People really, really start wrestling with this decision. If they have not made their decision by now, they need more details. This is where the logic comes in. So they need more facts. They need more data, more proof, social proof, proof that this works, more information, more details, more features, more differentiators. They need to know why yours is different than the other person's. They need to know that yours works because somebody else liked them, had it work for them. They need the facts. They also need the scarcity, not false scarcity and not 
FOMO, but again, giving them the facts, letting them know when the cart closes, why it closes at that time, and when their last opportunity to join will be, so they have that information for themselves. The final thing that they need to see are discounts. This is a great time, if you have people you've been in conversation with, to reach out and say, hey, how can I help you make this decision? I think you'd be amazing for this program. I love you, I want you in here. You know they're gonna be like a great case study and that they need this information. If I gave you a 20% off promo, would that help? What would it look like to give you a partial scholarship, right? You're having these conversations. So the last 48 hours, you're delivering facts, proof, data, you're having conversations, you're holding space for those people who just need to see more details in order to know that this is right for them. You're also informing them of when the cart closes, informing them of the scarcity and the urgency, not creating false scarcity and urgency, and you are offering discounts if that works within your launch plan. So those are the five phases of an entire launch. Post-launch is a whole different story, but if you can plan out in what Ever timeline that your launch looks like, if you can just plan out an intentional warm up phase, an intentional invite phase, a kickoff phase, a launch, a cart open phase, and a cart close phase, and you can understand the journey at each point and you can enter into the conversation that your perfect student is having at each point in that journey, your conversions, your connections, your case studies, everything is going to go through the roof because now you're going to be connecting with more people and not only that, but more of the right people. So you're going Going to have more of the perfect student in your program, which means you get more testimonials, more case studies, and fewer return requests. All right, go forth and plan out your five stages. Let me know in the comments if one of these just like blew your mind. It was a stage that you've never really thought about before, never paid attention before, or if you were just absolutely killing it, let me know which phase you are crushing it the most. If this is the kind of content that's helpful for you, if you want to learn more about launching, writing your own copy, working on your own launch strategy, give this video a thumbs up so that I know that that it's actually working and interesting for you and make sure to subscribe so that you don't miss the next video when it drops. All right, I'll see you there.